I'm sure you're asking yourself, what in creation is Harold doing on his knee at the side of this house? The origination point for all water chemistry in all swimming pools starts at the tap. The question is, do you know what your source water chemistry is? Do you know what the alkalinity is? Do you know what the hardness level is? Do you know what the pH is? Because remember, the teachings of the National Plaster Council and some of the conversations about the LSI talk about pool water and how the pool water gets where it is. One of the things that's a teaching of the Arenda way of doing things is to elevate the chlorine, uh, the uh, calcium level in the swimming pool to begin to understand its relationship to balancing water in the LSI. So when you take this source water and you test this source water, you now have a baseline to understand the future of your water chemistry and how you got there. Now I'm going to go poolside and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, okay? So as we come over to the pool, when this pool was started up, the source calcium level in this pool was 80 parts per million. This water, I know because I tested this water last week, was 350 parts hardness. The question is, how did it get there? There's two ways to get there, and this is a very critical teaching. The way this pool got here is by the use of calcium flake elevating within 24 hours the calcium hardness level in this water so that my surface would live in harmony with my tap water. What's the other way that this water could have gone to 300? The way a lot of people in the industry, quite frankly, treat their water, and that is they quote unquote let their water chemistry drift up. Let me give you a word for what drift up really is. It's called self-sacrifice of your surface. If there's anything as service people we need to understand is the drifting up is a myth. Drifting up chemistry is truly a confession that we have mismanaged water chemistry on the front end and as a result our water has elevated itself at the expense of our surface. So it's important that we get a source water reading and get it in your records before you ever get started. If you're doing startups, it's especially important. If you're doing a startup actually, what you should do is grab a water sample before you even plaster that swimming pool and follow the mandate of the Master Plaster Council and Greg Garrett's teachings out there to do the three things that are most important in water chemistry startup to stop having problems in the future. Number one is to elevate your source water calcium in the pool within 24 hours. Number two, elevate your alkalinity to a minimum. Alkalinity is a minimum of 80. So 200 hardness, 80 alkalinity, and get our SC1000 sequest in the water to help slow down the effervescence process and to make sure that this surface remains hard. If you do those three things and you test your source water to begin with, you'll know how much calcium flake you need on the, on the pool deck the day you plaster that pool so you're not determining this down the road on a Saturday when there's nothing open for you to get the products that you need. So plan ahead, have your sequest, have your alkalinity up, have your calcium hardness elevation up so that you can get this water under your control as soon as possible. If you do that, the likelihood of you eliminating a lot of the problems at startup are going away. So thank you very much, folks.